Hey everyone, my name is James, and today we actually have some brand new Stardew Valley news. So for the first half of this video, I'm actually going to talk about the 1.3 side of things, and then the second half of today's video will be dedicated to the multiplayer aspect of Stardew Valley, which is soon to release. So, let's start with 1.3. Well, 1.3 was actually announced about a month ago on Concerned Apes Twitter. He actually shared a new picture of Stardew Valley, going over some of the new content that we'll see in Stardew Valley 1.3. And the first thing we actually got to see was this new boat. This new mysterious boat that showed up in the middle of the ocean and we have no idea what it does. Well, the aquatic theme actually continues today because we actually got a new 1.3 teaser. And as you can see, it's some kind of aquarium. Now, the first thing I thought of when I saw this is it reminds me of the aquarium you can actually get in Animal Crossing. That is a building where you can actually contribute all of your fish and then come by and look at them and see how they're displayed. So almost like the museum, but obviously for fish. So as you can see, there's actually a pond in here. That would actually be pretty cool if you actually had to get specific fish inside of the aquarium. Or maybe it's just an area where you gain a little bit more experience every time you fish there. But either way, it's cool to see some uh, coral in the background actually being used as decoration. And I wonder who this gentleman is. What is his purpose? But I'm going to lean towards aquarium. And I like that it already fits in with the first boiler we actually got a month ago. So, when is this coming out? Well, that actually leads into the multiplayer update, which is actually news to us. So, as you all know, Stardew Valley multiplayer has been in the works for quite some time now, and they actually did an update saying that they wanted to release it in beta testing form at the end of 2017. Well, they've actually pushed this back now to quarter one 2018, but it's cool because it actually ties in with Stardew Valley Update 1.3. Whereas before we thought we were going to get a multiplayer update and then Stardew Valley 1.3, it seems that they're actually tying both in together to make one giant 1.3 awesome update. Now, that's actually pretty ironic. Being a YouTuber who's been talking about Terraria Update 1.3, which is just as massive for that game, it kind of blows my mind a little bit. Now, the cool thing is they're actually also adding in support for French, Italian, Korean, and Turkish which is awesome because they recently said in an AMA that, you know, to add a new language actually has a big overhead. You know, it's not as simple as you would think. And the languages they actually added to the game were based on the sales in countries outside of obviously England and America. So it's cool to see extra support. So obviously that's new fans from across the world. And now the big giant news for a lot of people is that they're actually porting Stardew Valley over to the PS Vita. They actually mentioned at the start of 2017 that they were looking into it, but they never actually mentioned it throughout the year. Well, they're actually going to do it. So the cool thing about this is, if you've actually purchased the PS4 version, well, you actually get the PlayStation Vita version for free, and that's actually confirmed. So this is great for those who want to actually play Stardew Valley on the go, but aren't part of the Nintendo ecosystem. Maybe you've got that PlayStation 4 and a Vita just like I have, well, you can now play Stardew Valley on the go. So it's unsure when it'll actually be coming out. They said it'll be available next year, but, you know, it could be out in quarter one or quarter two, so it's probably not that long of a wait. Right, that's it for today's Stardew Valley news. Quite a big video, really. We got some really awesome news today. Why not leave me a comment down below on what you think that new 1.3 room is? Do you think it's an aquarium, or do you think it's something else entirely? Let me know down below. It'd be nice to start a discussion about it. Thank you all for watching, my name is James, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Good